and we're back we're back in transport fever once again a few people asked me to carry on with the game so that's what we'll do um yeah so um i'm shocked by this uh, let's go So hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. Yeah, I've left the music on this time. So yeah, um, we had a couple of people asked to uh, carry on with the series, so that's what we'll do. So we'll load the game, and carry on with the tutorial. So if you're new to my videos, as always, welcome. There's Transport Fever. This is going to be on a Sunday for the next couple of weeks anyway to see how it goes. There's OMSI, the bus simulator. Oh, it's gone quiet. On a Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. There's something from Trains on Trains Tuesday. Know what currently needs to be done in your company. You will find current tasks and information about medals and achievements in the top left corner. Okay. Need a break? The game menu is found in the show your skills and build your first road. Hang on, this is connect the green and the red areas with a road. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't where we to the menu. The city needs you. Make the go. regional economy blossom and ensure that your city experiences a veritable boom. Your logistical skill is the most powerful economic driving force far and wide. In this tutorial, you will supply a city with goods. There we go, that's better. So yeah, as I was saying, there's OMSI on the channel every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Trains on the trains Tuesday. This on a Sunday. And something from Flight, which may have finished. The inhabitants of the city have other needs than merely being chauffeured around. The city needs cargo for commercial and industrial operations, as these allow the city to grow even more. Time to boost the economy. Create jobs and shopping facilities. Become the region's economic driving force. There's a whole range of goods. Six of them are so-called end products that can be delivered to the city. Okay. Businesses that produce cargo for final consumption in the city are located outside of the cities. Here's a factory that manufactures construction material, for example. Construction material is one of the end products used by the city, and they require the raw material stone for their production. Stone is mined in a quarry. The quarry doesn't need any goods to function, and thus forms the start of the production chain. The quarry has already begun producing stone and is depositing the cargo in its outbound warehouse. Your aim is to deliver these goods to the construction material factory. Okay. The quarry needs customers. Ensure that the stone it produces finds its way to the construction material factory. After all, there's always a demand for construction material in a growing city. Build freight stations in the red and green areas. We can do that. So yeah, as I was saying, um, for the third time now, so hopefully don't get interrupted, um, there's something from OMSI on the channel on a Monday or Wednesday and Saturday. OMSI is a bus simulator, if you've not seen that before. Something from Trains on Trains Tuesday. Uh, something from this for the next few weeks on a Sunday, Transport Sunday. And as I record this, the final flight video is due out this coming Thursday. And I'm recording this on Monday the 14th to go out the this coming Sunday, which is after the last flight. So flight may continue depending on the demand. Uh, we'll see, this is complicated, isn't it? Hit that subscribe button uh, to see some more of this and some more of everything else that I do. And I thank you for doing that. So we're gonna do this by road then. I wanna do it by train. Build freight stations in the grid. Oh, okay. Well, as we're doing it by train. Okay, so one there, and one here.
The stations have been constructed. Now there's nothing standing in the way of those rolling stones, except perhaps some uneven terrain. Nothing that money can't solve, but it still pays to plan the line carefully. Connect the freight stations with tracks. Okay, so I've got 98.8, 99.8 million down here, which you can't see because it's hidden behind my avatar. Once again, forever the professional, I forgot to move it up. Actually, it was up um, because the last video I recorded was flight, the final flight. And I realized when I did the intro to this that it was still up, so I moved it down and then forgot the money was down. So I should have left it up. Anyway, 99.8 million is the amount. So let's go and lay some track. I'm such a professional. Okay. I don't need it with the... There we go. Uh, that's where we're going, sort of there. Soon we'll be able to send the stone on its way. Luckily, a stone is much less demanding than a commuter. Create a line and add the freight stations. Okay. So, <clears throat> we've got our train line. We now need to add in a depot. Oh, create a line. Oh, God, it wants me to do it. Hang on, hang on. It wants me to do it in its way. Then it... Oh, okay, so new line. So we're going from there to there. Now we need a freight train. Next, build a depot. Depots are needed to buy vehicles. Depot. Select the train depot from the construction menu and build it in the area highlighted in yellow. Depot. Why are we building it there? We're starting at that end. That just seems pretty pointless, but okay. We'll do what we're told. Plonk. Now you need a train that can deliver the stones from the quarry to the factory. Click on the depot and select buy train and well, buy a locomotive with an additional five open cars. Make sure, sure that the cars can transport stones. Surely I need to connect the track first. Wouldn't that sort of make sense? Like that. But, you know, it's just me. Buy trains. 5.1 million? Yes. We'll go for that. Actually, they're no, flying Scotsman. What's that then? Streamline 462. Uh, it's probably a bit overkill, isn't it? We'll go for that little one. And then wagons. So it's an open car, open wagon. Two, three, four, five. Let the journey begin. Assign the train to the line. Outstanding. The train is on its way to pick up its first load of stone. In the meantime, you can click on the quarry and the construction material factory to learn more about production. No, I want to follow the train. So it automatically sets it to coal at first, which is its default cargo, until it actually picks up a load. So it will say coal to start with. Oh, we're getting a bit of speed now. I must say, graphically, this game is pretty good. So yeah, on the um, on the channel here, I'm going to work through the tutorials. Um, but what I may do is if we carry on past the tutorial tree if we carry on past the tutorials i may then just carry on with um the map i started on the stream we've started about three hours gameplay so far and what i was doing on that map was uh, naming trains and vehicles after people that were in the chat so currently got about half a dozen people um half a dozen vehicles named But I'm not sure if it was a game that worked well in the stream. So it may just be that we'll stick with it with uh, with YouTube. We'll see. Yay, we've got a stone. All right. So now we've got to deliver this back the other way. I 
does look good. Look at that. Can't deny that doesn't look good. So why is this going to get me to do the one load then? The way they will now get me to transport the finished goods to the town, which is where they also need to end up. So yeah, it's showing there that we've got coal, because those cars are still set to coal until the first load appears in them, but the first one is showing us so it's showing no coal but stone. It's quite a nice flat route, 54 miles an hour. Past the depot, depot. Excellent. Yay. The first delivery of stone has reached the factory. The factory will now process the stone into construction materials. Stones are taken from the inbound warehouse and deposited in the outbound warehouse as construction material. Okay. So, details. So, yeah, we've got um, one construction material stored. So, surely it won't actually produce it until. How do you now start to convert stones to construction materials? It's doing so, stones are able to be taken from the inbound warehouse and deposited in the outbound warehouse as construction materials. Also, it won't do until it produce, reach, reaches five. Then it will tell me. I should imagine to. Oh, it's got two. I wish you could watch our train, can we? While that's happening. Get up there. Get your eye on that. There should be more stone waiting now because the stone the quarry will then realise that we're actually shipping it. So as we're shipping it, it will increase. Yes, there is some waiting there. It will increase production. Oh, there we go. We've got eleven now. Production still at two. Actually, it says one. Yeah, that says two. With this going back there now should increase production, hopefully. This is only a slow for us. It's quite. We we're doing 54 on the way. Let's see, because it's now putting a load. Let me see what how much it's got on weight-wise. Uh, 126 tons. At the moment, he is losing us money. Production still at two, according to the factory. Yet this is showing a. One up in the top here. Okay, but now this gets dropped off. Production now should kick up again. Four. Okay, that's now saying two. Why is that saying two? Not saying four. We've got another three trips. Oh, see that says six, so that says three, or we get in there. It says four. On one more. The there factory's we go. warehouse is filling up. Set up a truck line into the city to transport the construction materials. Build a truck station in each of the colored areas. Okay, so basically what's happened there then? 
stone gets produced in the quarry and gets shipped up here to the building materials yard. That then, we could transport it out by train. But we put another um, truck station here, which is asking me to do. And then put one there. It will then transport it from there to there. So let's do that. Zoom in a little bit. So we want to go there. That one, I think. Okay, so it highlights. As you, you can see, it's in the range because it highlights the thingy next to it. Okay, so one there. And it wants us to build another one in here. All that's missing now is a suitable road vehicle for transportation into the city. Next, build a depot. Depots are needed to buy trucks. Depot. Select the depot for road vehicles from the construction menu and build it in the area highlighted in yellow. Depot. Okay, we can do that. Bingo. Almost there. The economic miracle is close at hand. Just a couple more logistical wrinkles to iron out, and the city will be supplied with construction material. Click on the depot, select buy road vehicle, and buy a truck. Hang on, shouldn't I set the line first? They've skipped a bit, surely. I was thinking nowhere to go. The truck now needs to be assigned to a line. You can set up the line as before via the line manager and then assign the truck to it. Alternatively, it is also possible to immediately create a new line for vehicles you have just bought. Click on the line icon in the vehicle window and select new line or click set line all in the depot and then new line. Then add the stops where the truck should stop. The truck will automatically be assigned to the new line. Okay, set line all, new line. So we're going from there. Congratulations. To there. The city will soon receive its first cargo delivery. Let the boom begin. Okay, supply the city with construction material. That's currently on zero then, so we need to look on the truck. There he goes. Nothing waiting there at the moment because the factory construction material plant doesn't know we're shipping it. And Hans turns up in his little truck. That's what he does as a part-time job. Okay. So now they should produ be producing stuff. Once he gets the other end and finishes the route, you then come back and there should be things there. It's not that far past the uh, depot. I do like the way it's modelled. It is pretty well done. The pedestrians walking around, the, even the AI traffic's pretty good. So because this is an industrial area, you've got all these industrial warehouses, that's why it told me to put it here. Right, so because there's nothing on board, he's going to lose me money. In the meantime, if you can see over here that the train is carrying 15 out of 16 stones. So he's, uh, he's doing well. That's picking up every time he's going backwards and forwards. Right, so he's now going to head back. Hopefully by the time he gets back, there'll be some stuff waiting, because production now has increased to 42 on the factory, on the construction materials plant. It's up to 42 now. So you can see just by these couple of links how this game can just suck you in. That you know, it's two routes to get stuff from the quarry to the construction materials plant, and then construct materials plant to the town. 
but the construct materials plant also requires slag, which comes from steel mills. Right, there you go, there's a whole load waiting there, look. So good old hands, when he's not driving buses and coaches, he drives a truck. Alright, there we go. So he's got 7 of 11 on. The train's going back in, so you can see how much the train makes. Hundred and fifty K the train made us. So that's making money. We'll see what percentage it's got to get this to hundred percent before it lets us finish. We'll see what percentage that goes to after dropping this lot off. What you could do if you're playing the game proper now, you could go right, that's working, I can go off and do something else. Problem is is I found on the map that currently playing on the stream that you suddenly get a lot of things going on and a lot of vehicles going everywhere and some you've got to increase some you've got to decrease and you then got routes going over the map trying to get coal from two different places to one factory it becomes just so engrossing such a good game one of those games you can just lose hours and days on there we go okay so that still says zero Oh no, 4%. This is going to take a while. Okay, so what I can do is buy another couple of vehicles. And then set them to line. Uh, two. So I can put three vehicles on this. Well, they're going the wrong way so we can now look and see what's waiting so i put more vehicles on so the more vehicles are on the quicker we get production because this will probably moan now about yeah try to deliver more stone it's now asking for more stone which we're doing it's got 21 out of 24 on now so if i were playing this without being in the tutorial i would then contemplate making that train faster and longer and then look at the potential of adding a second train to get the stone out of the quarry and to the construction materials plant quicker. Right, so our first truck, truck number one, is on its way. Trucks number two and three have just left, so one's in and one's just leaving. So that should space them out a little bit. By the time truck two gets back up here, there should be more goods waiting, which there are. There's three waiting. And we can see when road vehicle one gets there, how much that percentage is going up by. And we, so we've got to get that to 100%. So this... Uh, this video is probably going to be a bit longer than I anticipated being. Oh, 5%. How did that go up? We haven't supplied anything. That's strange. Okay, that's a bit odd. Just asking for more stone. We'll have a look and see when trucks two and three get back there then, which he's leaving. Has he got much on? He's got seven on. And he's about to fill up with two. So hopefully by the time the other truck gets back, which they've just passed, there we Oh we did it.
there we go. I'll finish the tutorial. There we go then. That's that done. I finished a bit quicker than I thought it was going to. Next time then, um, we will carry on and potentially carry on with the map that I started on the stream. Um, but I'm actually half tempted to start again um, and keep the same map running on the stream and on YouTube. So we'll see. If you do want me to carry on with this, then um, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Until the next time then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching. This music's so good. Cheerio.